until recently, there wasn't a special integrated development environment made just for platform developers like us. But now we've got something awesome to cheer about. While tools such as AID EGEN help load modules in IntelliJ or Android Studio, they had their limitations. Now Google has introduced ASFP Android Studio for platform. A dedicated ID crafted for platform developers. Let's take a closer look at how it helps. Android Studio for Platform is a specialized version of the Android Studio IDE. It is tailored for AOSP platform developers. It utilizes the Song build system. ASFP has multi-language support. ASFP allows you to edit C++, Kotlin, and Java programming languages within a single integrated development environment. ASFP provides Project Setup Wizard, which we will look in a while, that assist in configuring your launch target and platform modules. Let's download Android Studio for platform. Search for Android Studio for platform in Google. Here is the official page from where we can download it. Download the dev file for Linux. OK, download is completed. To install the dev file, open one terminal window, type sudo dpik g hyphen i path to the d file so go to the location where it was installed run studio.sh to open android studio for platform it will open up the standard welcome screen click on import asfp project in this window, we need to select the location of AOSP. Then the launch target. I am selecting the mobile emulator build. In the module paths, add the modules which you wish to work on. Let's add the frameworks module. Leave a project name and the location of the project. Click on finish. It may take a while to load the module and build it. The framework module will be opened up with all its dependencies. Now you can navigate through the project like any other Androids to your project, Java, Kotlin, and C++ files are supported. Let's try adding a new module.
Same steps, select the project you wish to open. Finish. Let's open in new window. Overall, it's nice. But there are still limitations, like you cannot see their sources and full build of some individual apps fails, etc. Hope it was helpful. Please try it out and let us know your feedback. Thank you.